This week, I was inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 18. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. What's up, Tim Kings? In the comment section on another video, someone asked me, am I always this happy? Yes, I am. Even when I'm not, I'm still happy. Get it? Got it. Hello. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude interrupting while you're watching this vlog, but I gotta let you know about the new store we just launched, www.thatnaplife.com. Yes, honey! It is an online lifestyle apparel store, and I definitely want you to check it out. So go ahead and click the link in the description box and check out the shop. I hope you find many items that you want to rock. Okay, thank you in advance. All right, let's get back to this vlog. So last time I was all up on your screen vlog style, y'all saw me install this style right here. My shock y'all to hear me say this, but I'm about to take it down <gasps> and I'm going to put it back up because I have decided to follow Jesus. Mm, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I decided I'm gonna try to live my life and twist for the rest of the summer, maybe the rest of the year. I'm gonna see how it feels to take this down, install it, take it down, install it weekly. Might move to bi-weekly. This time around when I install it, I might start with braiding first and then twist it down. Why? For me to wash my hair right now as it is, the way I twisted it, I know it's gonna be a mess. It'll end up just being really, really frizzy and fuzzy and more than what I want. Let me. <laughs> show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all see, y'all know because when I twisted this in, it was is loose. So I feel like if I wash this, will it stay? Will it become more frizzier? Will I end up having to redo some parts anyway? That's kind of what I'm thinking. And let me put y'all down real quick. Quick question. Do y'all like it better when I'm talking to y'all with the camera in my hand like this? Or do y'all like it better when I just keep y'all chilling? Post it up. Or are you in a combination of both? Let your girl know. For me, too much frizz is not good. It can Cause me a little bit more tangles. Should I go ahead and just wash it in, in my, maybe I should just wash it in my twist. Mm? Instead of taking it down, put it back up, taking it down, put it back up, take it down, put it back up, take it down, put it back up, take it down. Which I mean, it won't even take me that long. Like literally, look at this. I go like this, look at it, take it down. You know? <laughs> Look, from all of this to boom, that's it. Y'all know this thing is so easy to install. Look at that, right on camera. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Look, so easy to install and I went the wrong way. The other thing is I feel like when my hair gets wet, it's going to do what? Coil up. So I kind of feel like if I do take it down, put it back up, it'll allow me to put it back up without my real hair poking out. Now the reason I have decided I need to make sure I stay washing my hair every week even though I have this in my head, I work out and I sweat from my scalp. So this is what I mean by my real hair poking out. Y'all see how it's coming out? Because during the week when I'm in the shower, I just kind of lift it up like this, put into a ponytail like this, and then I'm washing. But the heat, water is still, you know, splashing onto my head. At night, I spritz it with Green Beauty spray or I just use regular water and then I call it a day. I have to redo this one. So my hair, my real hair is coiling out. That can lead to more tangles for me too at the coil part. So I don't want to do that. I'm just making sure I stay on top of keeping my scalp clean to where I'm even debating should I wash my hair every three days because of how much I sweat from my scalp. I don't want buildup. I don't want clogged pores. It's not working in my favor. You feel me? Or it doesn't work in my favor. So with all that being said, I have decided that I am going to, I'm going to wash it in twist. Let's see how it comes out. I'm gonna redo some of these twists. I probably will make some of these twists a little smaller and then I will see what it looks like. If I feel like, you know what, no, no ma'am. You need to go ahead and take that one down, redo it completely, then I will. Do y'all wanna join me for my wash day? Do you wanna go into my bathroom and see my shower falling down my face? My hair too. But not my body, cause that's too personal, like I'm saying. All right, so we are upstairs and I rest to the room and I have decided I'm gonna wash my hair in these twists. And any part I feel like I might need to redo, I'll go ahead and untwist it and redo it cause we saw how quickly it can be done. So these little parts that I see my hair sticking out, now I'm gonna retwist those. So for the washing, what shall I use today? What shall I use today? Today? I'm gonna roll with the ethnic gals. Stay out my closet, y'all being nosy. I see you looking. 
I think I'm gonna do the Ethnic Girls Low Porosity Shampoo in Conditionial. So yes, I'm gonna use the, her shampoo, super hydrating shampoo, but it's, it is very, actually, it's quite cleansing as well. And I will use the conditioner. My hair is already in pre-poo mode because I put oil on my hair during the week and I put oil in my hair about a day ago as well. So for anyone who this might be your first time watching my video, I'm not sure about that. First of all, thank you. Okay, vlogs is something as of like this year, new to my channel. I think I started doing it this year. Oh no, last year, last year, last year. And so far so good, y'all Y'all liking it, y'all vibing with it, I appreciate it, okay? But I say that, that to lead into this, pre-poo, in case you don't know what it is, pre-poo is only when it's done before shampooing. Hence the name pre-poo. Pre-poo was coined from the practice of using an oil on your hair before you actually shampoo. Now, I leave it on overnight. The least amount of time I left it on is an hour before I went into the shampoo. I went into wash day. So I left it on for an entire hour and a half, maybe two hours. Then I went to shampoo mode. So that's all pre-poo is, an oil. It's not using a rinse out conditioner. It's not doing all this other, like y'all making it bigger and it's more like, it's just using the oil. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. With my pre-poo step though, sometimes I will add other stuff like aloe vera or I might do my Ayurvedic hair mask, Amla, Brahmi, Shakai Kai, before I shampoo, only because those steps are needed to be done before I shampoo. But I don't apply that until the next day because again, I predominantly pre-poo at night in the morning, I'm ready to start my wash day. So the day when I did just an hour, almost two hours of it, I combined that with my uh, Ayurvedic hair mask as well. So I'm about to hop in the shower and then we're gonna wash it with this in here. But uh, I don't know if I wanna leave it down because it's gonna get all wet too. So should I do like two ponytails? I'm trying it. So let's go like that. I think I'm gonna do that. Put the shampoo, wash, wash, wash. All right, let's hop in the shower, shall we? Huh? I would like to get to know if you could be What kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know Then I won't be for real I could be wrong but I feel like something could be going on No more I see washed my hair with this and it is looking a little frizzier than mine, but it's okay. As I said in my other video, I personally feel like the frizzier this part looks, the more it actually blends into Marley Twist, but this method right here didn't help. This part still got wet. I mean, I kind of expected, but I thought maybe it's a chance, slight chance, you know, but I'm just gonna squeeze, squeeze and squeeze. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I got my conditioner in, got my scalp cleansed, and I actually don't like the way wet braids or twists feel against my skin. But anyway, now I'm gonna take my turby turby and, uh, oh, I should do a t-shirt actually. This might not suffice. All right, I'm gonna use this white t-shirt that turned pink in the wash and dryer. All right, we're gonna flip right here over. Now I would show y'all me doing this for aesthetics, but I have a towel on. I just don't want something to happen. Towel falls down. I know I can edit it out, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this all the way over. I don't know, when y'all 
do y'all t-shirt? Do y'all put your hair through the hole, through the neck portion? I do, because I feel like it stays around my area here a bit better. All right, and then I'm just gonna twist and twist. Get a little bit sticking out here. And twist. And this is how I'm just gonna have my hair to dry. What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. All right, real quick before I go and moisturize my skin, my body. The stuff that I use, I love this vitamin C. I got it from Amazon. It's by Eva Naturals. I don't know if she has like an individual store. I've only purchased it from Amazon. So as you can see, I got the bigger bottle. This is a smaller bottle I used to get, but now I realize I actually like it. So this is their vitamin C, but it's not just vitamin C up in this thing, okay? She also has salicylic acid, hyalur hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, retinol, and MSM. As you can see, I use mine during the day, but you can also use it at night, especially since it has retinol, and I always follow with a what? SPF. If you're gonna do it during the day, what I've learned is that if you're gonna use anything, well, you should use SPF, period. Especially if you use anything with retinol in it. SPF your life away, okay? This is one of my favorite SPFs. I've been using it for I don't know how long. It's by Cetaphil, easily accessible at your local drugstore, Target, Dwayne Reed, Rite Aid, CVS, whatever you want. I'm gonna put the link in the description Box as well if you want to just be at home chilling and have it delivered at, to your door okay and then I'm also a huge fan of CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I love this for my skin I do have dry skin or not dry skin I have I think I have I have combination skin basically and then y'all already know I still use witch hazel the same one I've been talking about for years by Thayer's favorite witch hazel I use this during the day so y'all are looking for a really good as you can see it doesn't give me no white purple cast or any of that stuff I'm not looking like cast in his mug you can still see the muckle chocolate very clearly okay that's why i like this i like it so much i have a backup bottle when this is done I'm not worried because I have another one waiting for me, okay? So yeah, just want to say real quick and just in case y'all don't know, these products I recommend that I use all the time and I talk about in many different videos or videos to come will always be linked in the description box below. I will give y'all the Amazon links. I will give y'all links directly to the websites you can buy it from. And I also have a store. Yes, y'all. Your girl got a store now, okay? It's an affiliated store, so it's full of all things I like to use and it's affiliated links. So, you do help your girl out by getting a little commission when y'all make a purchase of items you want and you feel you need. I do get a little chunk of it. Well, the channel gets a chunk back and I reinvest it back into Nappy Food, okay? Nappy Food TV. And last but not least, you know your girl's still a Vaseline user, okay? So yes, I Vaseline right after. I do the lips, get, yeah, 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 okay? I don't put any in my face because, you know, I don't need it right now. But sometimes I'll put, like, after I do my lips, whatever's left, sometimes I'll go like this and I might press it in. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to press it right in. So it's no, nothing wasted. Nothing wasted. And it's not too much. You see, I don't have, like, a shiny glow. So it's not a lot that I put in my face. All right. So now we need to do the body. Okay. We come alive in the nighttime. something about how we dance First of all, my hair is dried up and it's not that bad. It didn't come out that bad, y'all. I'm gonna retwist this whole front. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little retwisting, not, not too much. Just right here. Boom, I might even make them a little smaller, maybe. <sighs> I'm glad I didn't take it down. It actually looks per perfectly fine. Just got some really good news. Should I share it? Nah, 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 let me not do that. Don't you hate when people do that? They were like, let me tell you something. You be like, what? You be like, you know what? Never mind, mate. I hate when people do that, but I'm about to do that to y'all. Basically, it's, it's really good news towards goals that I'm trying to reach. The person that has been helping me reach this goal finally is coming through. So I thank God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I have been sitting here for the past few hours on my laptop. Isn't it funny? I have an entire office upstairs, but it's right here I like to work the most. I am going to finish working on this. I'm uploading new footage to my drive, getting everything off of my SD cards. So I'm gonna collect more footage this weekend since you know I'm off on Monday too. I got some great stuff coming. Thank you, God. I'm excited about it actually. Oh, I'm
I'm always excited about whatever I put on Nappy Food TV. So I hope y'all like it. I hope y'all been liking it. I hope y'all like it. I might be hanging out with one of my homeboys tonight. We're probably gonna go out for drinks and just chat. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and work a little bit more. I wanna make sure y'all don't see none of my goodness. Just put this pillow right here. I'm pretty much just kind of getting, y'all wanna see what I'm doing? Okay. So I used a Sony A5000, boom, you see it there. Got it when it initially came out. Now they got like 6,000 and now they have the Sony SV1 or something like that. But I used the A5000, I absolutely love this camera. Now that I know how to record in it. Prior to, I was using MP4 file to record on this camera. Previous vlogs, if y'all, I don't know, some of y'all might've noticed my vlog stopped looking so grainy. That's because I was using this camera in MP4, which is not as best quality okay the best quality for this in case you have it is to record in avc hd avc hd is what gives me the best quality on this camera when i use avc hd you see me very clearly it color corrects very well and so on the way the sony camera works is very much geared towards like movie production and things like that so it might not be so user friendly right they have certain terms and ways to really maximize the use of this camera that a regular smegla person like me who's not trained well I'll have to research the heck to find out right so it took me a year or so before I realized I could be recording a different file on this camera to get this type of quality right where I don't look so grainy it's no noise but anyway what I want to show y'all in case you too ends up end up having this issue now I don't know if the newer Sony's have all this maybe they don't but if you have this too and you want to record in the better file and you're trying to realize how to get those files off of there it ain't nothing but you going right here can y'all see once you in your file this is what I do so once I'm in my file my card comes up like this boom 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 I go to private right click on here show package content right click again show package content stream and those are all of my videos right here awesome sauce awesome sauce all that to say I've been sitting here for a few hours just basically cleaning things up getting things in order and uploading new content for it to be edited you know just get my life together basically <laughs> making sure I'm doing what I got to do and I stop listening oh I tried zoomed all the way in oh I stop listening to my voice to that voice in me that says just sit here and do nothing it's Saturday girl don't be doing no don't do no work no like yes I do kind of want to just sit and chill and I do nothing but I'm also like I got stuff to do. I'm just gonna kind of sit here and get this stuff together. And I'm meeting up with my homeboy around 8.30. It is approximately 6.41 and I wanna retwist my front. I'm not gonna put, in, I'm not gonna beat face or anything like that. So I think it should be fine. All right, it looks like we are about to go out. We're just going to this bar in Houston. It's called Bar Louie. I've actually seen it quite a few times, but I just never entered into it myself. Can y'all see me in this darkness? You probably can't, let me turn this on. Boom! This is like a, just a little dressy dress. Cause the places, I mean, it's a place that you don't get so, so dressed up, but like you put forth some type of effort. That's kind of what it is to me. For the pictures I saw, so this is what I'm rolling with. A nice little loose dress. And then I have some, can y'all see the shoes? Have on some black mules. I actually really enjoy mules. I realized I like the mules that has like, this mule has a skinnier heel. I like the ones that's a little bit wider. I have some in my car. I might switch out to those because I think I enjoy that a little bit better than these smaller ones. Anyway, homeboy's on his way. I'm excited to go out a little bit. You know, just hang and talk. Have a little drinkity drink, you know, be chilling basically. Let me grab those other shoes real quick. Give me a second. Okay, so these are the other mules I was talking about with the wider heel. I do feel like the ones I'm currently wearing looks a little bit better with the outfit, but I am willing to switch, <laughs> okay? So, all right, this is what we're working with. All right, so we have this shoe with the skinnier heel, and we have this one with the thicker heel. So I like this one, but I'm feeling this one a bit more. So I think we're gonna roll with this one. These ones, so this is both of them together. My only issue with this shoe it's actually, I got it from Amazon. When I walk, well, it's not doing it right now. Hmm, I don't know that one. Oh, never mind, girl. Never mind. When I walk, it kind of starts to slide to the left. Like, it doesn't, well, it's doing it right now. It's staying in place right now. Maybe it just did it that day because my feet, because I had uh, put lotion on my feet before going out. I guess with most sandals, you don't put lotion right before you're going to wear them. That slide, the way you slip it and slide, and your toes roll to the very front. Never comfortable. Okay, I'm walking in them right now. They got sliding left and right. So I guess they're good. So I think I'm gonna go with these shoes, y'all. I'm gonna get probably quite a few more because I have them in multiple colors. I like them a lot. I think they're so cute. And my toes look really cute. You know, when you get your toes done, you wanna show everybody in the world. 
I'm gonna wear all type of open toe shoes or no shoes, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. I am gonna also bring the, unbeknownst to me, didn't know it would, it was matching, the matching bubble sandals. So I'm gonna carry this with me also. Can't leave home without them. So I need to carry probably a big bag. Or I'm still carrying this car. We'll see what happens. But anyway, yeah, about to go get a drink. You think I'm crazy, but I know I am. Losing your patience, I already have. I keep falling under all this pressure Falling under ever since I met you uh, Baby, I'm not good, but you know better